So, a little tutorial about the mapping features in Isadora 2. My version is 200B12. And just loaded the movie player, texture player, texture projector. And then you double click on the projector. And here you have an input, output, split. Here's the input, here's the output, horizontally, vertically. And then again input. Here is at the output resolution. Mine input 640 to 480 doesn't fit now with the output. But for this is not not bothering. Um, so for mapping you can create more slices by for example clicking here rectangle one two three and then you click your slice like rectangle one and then you drag your part first one here then Oh no, this is three now, okay, interesting. This one, good. Then I do for one this third. Uh -huh, this is two, interesting. Okay, then one is here. Then you can go to output, or I like to split. Just zoom out a little bit here on this one. I wanted to zoom out. And here we'll zoom in again. Now I can click on the slice here, adjust it. Okay, now this is three again. Interesting. One. This is one, this, and then I can do my mapping here. Here's a magnet that can turn off if I want to be more flexible. Also with the cursors I can move this up and down. Here is scaling, rotating. And if I want to change from the input, I can just do it here, for example. Now it's rectangle 3. See it on the right side. It's changing. Um, you can change the background color, for example, checkerboard here. And I like now this one, red. You can also zoom here and you can create also other shapes. So I will delete this now. So, for example, triangle. interesting thing is you can also create composite with more complex forms so like a mask here and then the interesting part is you can with alt and mac make a new points and create new shapes Then, if I, if I click on curved, and I get these curved ones with this tool here, 
and get more deeper. And then if I create, for example, a circle here and I move it smaller, and then I click, I have to click here outside and inside the circle and change to subtract, I get here this masked out region, which can be very handy if I have something where I don't want to project on, on the surface. This is opacity. This is on now bold. So let's see if I can only click on the circle for opacity. Okay, doesn't seem to work somehow. Then I will delete this again and here I have a grid. And then I have grid divisions. I can change this. Right. These divisions were can change in the input or output. Right click and publish these points and then I get them here. And you cannot see my second monitor that is changing. I have my stage output and second monitor. So what you see here is on the second monitor. Um, here with this, when I click this, I can zoom to fit. Um, what was this? Oh yes, I see these boxes from here. When I have many slices, this can be handy. Oh yes, here you see the numbers from each point. This I don't remember now. Solo. Mm, here I can change the orientation of the slice. This could be also handy. Yes. And that's it. Thank you.